There are people screaming outside my window right now. I don't know why this always happens when I record a video, but it does. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am Robin the Coffee Bitch. This is Stewie, my sidekick sloth. We have a little more of a casual setting today. Today I wanna to talk about 20 business anniversary marketing ideas. Yes, I know that is a mouthful. And here's the thing, should you celebrate your business anniversary? If you've been in business for 10 years or 15 years or 20 years, should you celebrate it? And here's my answer, I say yes. Go ahead and celebrate. It's true that your clients and your customers probably don't really care all that much about your business anniversary, but you care. And it's no small feat that you've survived and thrived in this crazy world, so why not celebrate? And celebrating and excitement is contagious, so if you're excited about it and you share it with your clients and customers, they might get excited too. So. I'm gonna talk about some ideas that you can use or riff off of, and we'll see where we go from there. Okay, let's see if I can actually count correctly. Shall we start? Number one, your website. Of course, you're going to want to update your website to show how long you have been in business. So I'm talking about the logo area and the header graphic at the top of your website. That's a great place to put a little banner that says celebrating 25 years in 2024 or whatever it is. So your website is a great place to do that. Another good place is your email signature, and this is true for all employees as well. They can have something at the bottom of their email signature that says, hey, we're celebrating 30 years in business in 2022. And then there could be a link to a special place on your website, like a blog post. I'll be talking more about that in a second. Number three, we're still on the right track. Um, you don't want to overlook the obvious, so your on-hold messaging, your after-hours messaging, another great place that you can include a little, little plug about your business anniversary. Number four, signage. This is especially true if you have a brick and mortar store. You're gonna wanna have signage that talks about and talks up your anniversary. So think signs in the window or signs at the register if you have that sort of business or um, and this is probably gonna be number five, I would say, if you have people who are representing your business, they interact with customers or prospective customers, you wanna make sure that on their person, they have something that indicates, hey, we've been in business for 30 years or helping customers like you for 40 years. It could be a button, it could be a t-shirt, it could be a, a wrap on their van or their vehicle or something like that. So make sure you consider the signage on the person as well. I think that's number five, right? So number six, getting back to the website. If you have a blog, a blog is a great place to talk about your business anniversary. You can do it in a few ways. First of all, you could have a blog series if you want, but at the very least, you'll wanna have one blog post that kind of talks about this milestone. And a great angle for it is to talk about how much the industry that you're in has changed in the last five years, 10 years, 50 years. Um, depending on how what anniversary you're celebrating, that can be a really great blog post that kind of talks about where the industry has gone and how your company has evolved along with it. Or maybe you've even influenced the industry. This is a great place to kind of very subtly talk up about how awesome your company is, but not doing it in a self-promotional way. So make sure you think about the blog. Number seven, sticking with the blog topic, you can also write a blog post about where you're headed, where the industry is headed, but also where your company is headed specifically. So maybe the next five years or 10 years or 15 years. You could even do an offshoot by creating a video of this as well, where maybe you interview some of your employees and your customers and you make some bold predictions about where you think the industry is headed for the next, like I said, five years, 30 years, five decades, whatever it is. So. Always be thinking about how you can repurpose some of this content into other media. So a blog post can make a nice social media post or it can make a nice video and vice versa. So always be thinking like that. Number eight, speaking of social media, obviously you're going to want to update the bios on all of your different social media platforms to indicate the fact that you're celebrating 25 years. If you've made a change to your logo, um, make sure that the profile image and everything's in sync. You wanna make sure you have consistency across all media, and this is true no matter whether you're marketing a business anniversary or just you know your company in general. You wanna make sure that you have a consistent look and feel across social media. 
Number nine, you're gonna to wanna to beef up your overall about section on your website. Most businesses have an about section or about us or our company. So this is a great way to insert some language about the fact that you've been around for however long you've been around and to really talk that up as well. Number 10, keeping along with the idea of social media, in addition to updating your little bios that you have on your different social media platforms, have some fun on social media. Um, this is the place to, you know, share some pictures, do a retrospective, maybe, you know, pictures of some of the, the head people from the last 10 years or when they founded the, the business outside of their garage or something like that. You get the idea. Have some fun on social media to really talk up about where your company was and how it's evolved. Again, this is this is the goal is to really show how your company has grown and has not only stayed the course, but maybe you've had to pivot, maybe you had to pivot during the pandemic, how you've changed, how you like I said, it's no small feat, especially if you're a small business, to still be around after five years or ten years or fifty years. That's that's huge and it should be honored. So talk about it on social media. You can talk about some of the challenges. I know one of the companies that um, I worked with, they were celebrating their 100 year anniversary a couple years ago and one of the challenges they had was they had a devastating fire at some point in their history and they talked about that and they showed the pictures and how they had to rebuild. So this is where people like stories and that's the stuff that they remember. So your anniversary is a good time to really kind of get into the story of who you are as a business. Okay, number 11, you can create a promotion around the number. So let's say you are an acupuncturist and you've been in business for five years. Well, guess what? You could have some sort of contest or promotion that people enter and the, the grand prize is five free you know, treatments. Or if you've been in business for 10 years, you do 10 free something. You, you got the idea, just get creative. But you can create a promotion that can be ongoing over several months even um, around the number. And that's a great way to kind of you know build excitement for your business anniversary and also give something back to your customer base and prospective customers and even your employees. More about that in a moment. Number 12, um, sticking on with the idea of social media but getting specifically into video. People don't do enough with video. Businesses don't do enough with video. Do a video retrospective or do a video of bold predictions. Just do some video. It does not need to be fancy. I mean, look at me. I'm sitting in my bed. I've got a sloth. Yeah, um, use your phone, get a ring light, get a lavalier mic that hopefully works and just use some of the editing software that you can get in the app store and just do some videos, get some stuff out there. It's a great way to talk about your business, to have your employees talk about your business, have your customers talk about your business. And the nice thing about video is you can use it in multiple ways. You can use it on your website, you can use it on social media, you can use it on your YouTube channel. Um, it's stuff that works for you when you're sleeping and people like watching video. So think video. Okay, number 13, you're going to want to invest in some anniversary swag. So maybe you get some new promotional item. Just make sure whatever you get has, you know, celebrating 25 years in 2025 or celebrating, you know, 10 years in 2030, whatever it is. You get the idea, whether it's a pen or a water bottle or t-shirts or things like that. Invest in some anniversary swag and use that. And make sure you, you know, don't overbuy. You want to just get enough to get you through the year, but use it and hand it out. Okay, that's the whole point. Okay, this is Stewie's favorite. Throw an anniversary party. Of course you're gonna to want to do that. Some sort of birthday bash, anniversary bash. Depending on your size, if you're a small business with just a handful of people, you know, go out to a restaurant, have it, you know, pay for it for your employees and their spouses or their significant others. If you're bigger, maybe you, you know have someone come in and it doesn't have to be crazy. You could just have Panera come in and cater, you know, some sort of great lunch. Um, if, if you're a really big company and you have the budget, maybe you fly everyone into you know to, to Cancun for a weekend. I don't know. You you get the idea though. Do some sort of fun anniversary bash for your employees on your dime. Okay. Okay. Number fifteen. You're gonna want to honor your clients as well, especially. Um, VIPs and especially anyone who's been with you since the beginning and you can you can tear off your client roster too. This is especially true for small businesses that are B2B where you maybe have some of your VIPs or clients who've been with you for the last, you know, for the length of your anniversary, for the last 10 years, for the last 20 years and you, you really want to honor them and you get them a bigger gift and then maybe a client who's only been with you for a couple of years, you still acknowledge them and honor them but it's a smaller gift. Um, but you definitely want to honor the people who have helped you get here because you wouldn't be where you are 
without great customers or clients. So make sure you include that in your mix as you're coming up with your business marketing ideas for promoting your business anniversary. Along the same lines, you're going to want to honor your employees, especially those who have been with you the longest or who've been with you since the beginning. Here's something to keep in mind. I can't stress this, stress this enough. I don't care what people say. The things that people want, whether they're willing to admit it or not, is they want more money or they want time off. So keep that in mind when you're coming up with things to honor them with. They don't need plaques. They don't need watches. They want money or, you know, the equivalent, like, a you know, Amazon gift card for 50 bucks or they want time off. So here's how you can actually have some fun with that. Um, let's say you've been in business for 15 years. Maybe you decide to give all of your employees, if you can do it, depending on the size of your company, an extra 15 hours off over the course of the calendar year that you're celebrating. That's basically two extra days off fully paid. Like they can just, you know, in addition to their other time off to personal days, they get those two days and make sure they take them. That's the key. That's what people want. If that feels a little too rich or, you know, you just can't do that for every single employee, something else to consider closing down for a week that maybe you don't normally close down for. Um, if you've been thinking about closing down Christmas week and you just haven't like pulled the trigger on that, that do it there. There, unless you're a business that needs to be running during that week, it's a normal week for people to shut down and have a skeleton crew and your employees will thank you for it because it levels the playing field because if everyone's off, that means there's no guilt about not being, you know, moving a project forward. It doesn't mean it, you know, it means that your email inbox is not going to be overflowing when you return because everyone's off. So think about that. If you're in the States, um, 4th of July week is another week to do. And like I said, if you've been thinking about doing it and you just haven't pulled the trigger, a great time to do it would be a business anniversary to test it out. And if it doesn't work, whatever, you could just say you had done that for the anniversary. If it does work, then you can, you know, have it be a regular thing. Your employees are going to love you for it. Trust me on that. So 17, if you're wanting um, a good feel good idea, and this is something I did for that company that was celebrating 100 years in business. Um, what you could do is every month for 12 months is invite your employees to nominate their favorite charity. And then each month you, s you select a winning charity that you give a $100 donation to in that employee's name. That's a really nice feel good thing for everybody. It's great for a charity, um, especially if it's not like one of the big guys that people know, but maybe a small personal charity that's like really means a lot to this particular employee. And of course the charity gets, you know, acknowledged because you're going to want to promote it and share it and talk about it on social media. The fact that you're you now we're giving, you know, $100 in the name of Stewie to, you know, his favorite charity. Um, it gives exposure to the charity, gives exposure to the employee, and it's just a nice feel good thing that honors your anniversary, but by giving back to the community. So that can be a really, really nice, a nice feel good idea for your business marketing idea. So keep that in mind. Okay. Number 18, going along the lines, the fact that, you know, people love free money, especially when it's unexpected. It doesn't have to be a huge gift either. This is especially an especially good idea if you have like multiple locations or you have, you know, a bunch of managers who are managing different people. Give them a budget for your anniversary. It doesn't have to be huge. Or maybe they have a stash of like, you know, $20 gift cards. If you're celebrating, you know, 20 years in business, that can be great. A stash of $20 gift cards, you know, Starbucks and Amazon and Dunkin' Donuts, like whatever, just Amazon gift cards that they can use it however they want. And when an employee does something that really kind of embodies what your business is about and what's gotten you through the last 20 years, the managers are free to just like, you know, give a feel good, hey, you know, job well done. This is why we have survived for 20 years and here's a $20 gift card to honor that. It's just a great way to like keep the excitement going throughout the year. It's a nice little gesture. People love free, like I said, free money. That's awesome. They're going to love it. And it keeps the excitement going. And it's just a nice feel good thing to do. It's a nice thing to do even when you don't have anniversary years going, but it can be a really nice thing if you're tying it into an anniversary, like, you know, 20, 20 years and you have the $20 gift certificates or 50 years and you have $50 gift certificates. People are going to like that. Stewie's going to like that. Number 19, this is for big anniversaries. So I'm talking about, you know, anything 50 years on, like if you're celebrating a 75th anniversary or 80 years in business or hundred years, like that company I was working with, you're going to be able to get press on that because that's a big deal. Um, if you are a business and you've survived 100 years, kudos to you and you should get some press. 
there are a bunch of different angles that you can take. Um, you can, trade magazines, of course, are always a good place. Your alumni magazines for some of the C-suite or the people who've been with your company for a long time, another great place. Local press, where your company operates out of or is headquartered. So many different angles. You might want to work with a PR consultant or a publicist, but keep that in mind. You, you should be able to get some good press, which is another way to get exposure for your company. All right, and drum roll, Stewie. It's not really a drum roll, but anyway, number 20, your ideas. Seriously, business anniversaries are fun. I just gave you 19, and the reason why I'm doing 20 ideas, should we tell them, Stewie? Yeah, we should. I'm celebrating 20 years in business in 2022, and that's why I'm doing 20 ideas. So number 20, I'm putting it back on your shoulders. What do you wanna do? This, like I said, this there are so many different ideas out there. You probably landed on this video because you are Googling it. Keep Googling, keep reading with some of the other ideas people have, and just be creative. You know, get a bunch of people together in a room, be like, what should we do for our, you know, our big anniversary and see what people come up with and have some fun because it is fun. It shouldn't be a chore, at least mostly not, right? Right. And there you have it. 20 business anniversary marketing ideas. I am Robin the Copy Bitch. This is Stewie, my sidekick sloth. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, just move along.